Yeah, new this morning, there is a gym nestled inside a historic neighborhood, but parishioners say it's crumbling and in desperate need of repair. WDSU News anchor Latanya Norton shows us what people are doing to bring life back to the St. Augustine Church in Treme. In the heart of Treme. At the corner of Governor Nichols and Henriette DeLille, a free woman of color, stands one of the most iconic symbols in the historic neighborhood, St. Augustine Church, celebrating 174 years with a Gospel Mass Sunday, the culmination of the inaugural Treme Festival to benefit a place that's seen better days. It's almost giving up, you know, getting cracks and so on. So we need to work on the walls, we need to work on the SC unit and uh, we need some air. Father Emmanuel Malenga tells of St. Augustine's rich history dating back to 1842, one of the first places where integration took place when people of color bought pews for their families, as did Caucasians. The result, the War of the Pews. That led to an integrated community and as they bought those pews, they were able to even allow more people who could not afford, who did not have means by people of color to come on and join the community of, of prayer. This church saved me and my family after Katrina. It's a very special church. You know, the, things are crumbling all around us, so we need to come in and have repairs, major repairs done. The sole purpose of the Treme Festival, a celebration to raise money for much needed repairs and improvements. Well, we have tremendous amount of repairs that are needed. Uh, we've lost a lot of the parishioners that did that work voluntarily pre-Katrina. Particularly the roof. I believe really needs the repairs. Repairs to preserve history at a place of peace and love that could use some TLC of its own. In Treme, LaTanya Norton, WDSU News. And the church also received a $25,000 donation to go toward repairs.